Right guys, Gaft is back with the explanation to the little packet trick you would have seen yesterday. It does just use six cards. You're going to have two cards that match and then four blank cards, four jokers. These could be any four, four of the same, four aces, whatever. But I've got blanks, so I'm going to use blanks. This was just a way of generating a freely chosen number, but you're going to ask a spectator for a number. So we'll just give these a shuffle. It doesn't really matter. So you're going to start out with a blank, then the two fourth cards, and then the rest of the blanks. Now in performance, I gave them a bit of a shuffle to start with. If you go down, up, down, up, down, up, and strip out the top cards and do that three times, you will put the cards back in their original order. So it would be a blank, the two sevens, and then the rest of the blanks. So as long as you go down, up, down, up, and you do that three, strip out the top cards, put them on top, and do that three times, the cards will be back in order. Now you're going to ask your spectator for a number, throw a dice in your mind. Let's say the number they have is three. There are a few different outcomes. If it's a three, you're going to go one, two, three. Because you know these two top cards, the second and the third card, are the fourth cards. Right, we'll start from one. If somebody was going to say the number one, you'd have to spell out one. You'd go O-N-E and you'd land on a fourth card. If they said two, you would just go one, two, this is the card. If they go three, one, two, three, this is the card. If they go four, you'll count from this side. One, two, three, four. If they go five, you'll go one, two, three, four, five. And if they say six, you'll just count S I X. So you will always land on one of these two cards. So let's just get a random number four. So if it's four, you know, you've got to start from this side. So we go one, two, three, four. That's your card. Keep these in the same order. Oop. Turn this over and show it to be the seven. You're now going to give these what looks like a bit of a mix up, but you're doing nothing. You're going to, Push a card off the top, push the next card on top of that one, the next card will go underneath, the next card will go on top, the next card will go underneath, and your seven is still second from top where it needs to be. But to the spectator, that looks like you're shuffling the cards, but in fact, you're doing nothing. So you're gonna push it off, push it on top, underneath, on top, underneath, and the card is still in order. So you could literally do this a couple of times to make the spectator think they're getting shuffled, but in fact, that is always second. And as long as this card is always in the second position, when you um, spell seven, it will always work. So seven, put a card to the bottom for each spelling, S, E, V, E, on the N, drop that card down, do it again, S, E, V, E, N, S, E, V, E, N, S, E, V, E, N. And the final card should be a perfect match. Now, if like I've done in my performance, you use two cards which are identical, there's a chance in the spectator's mind, they're gonna think, yeah, these are all the seven of diamonds. But they are all in fact the same card, but they are all blank cards so that is the trick guys um i want to say a special thank you for is it michael j6's card trick channel this is where i saw this trick he took the cards out of a deck and used the four aces for these blank cards but i do love my packet tricks and this would fit perfectly as a little packet trick because i can get the cards all set up stick them in my little card sleeve stick this in my wallet and it's a great little trick to take anywhere so that is it guys make sure to smash the like button post notifications on and come back tomorrow for another card trick cheers